pretty much all of them. But it's just the level of splotchiness that kind of changes through the different types. First when I got it, I was like, I don't know about that. That's kind of a strange shaped curler. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got part three of my 2015 favorites for you guys today. So today is going to be hair care, skin care, body care, and like tools. So like brushes and some other sort of like tool sort of things. So I'm calling it tools. So anyway, this is kind of like a little bit of the random kind of category, but I've got some really good things that I want to share with you. A lot of these things you've already heard about on my channel, but I just want to reiterate how much I love these products. So lots to share, so let's jump into it. Okay, starting with hair care, I pretty much curl my hair almost every single day with my new me curl jam set, um, but this one specifically. The set came with this one that interchanges and then a flat iron, but I hardly ever flat iron my hair. So really I just like this one the most. And I usually have it on the smallest. Sometimes I switch it to the middle one occasionally, but most every day it's on this size. Um, mine's all kinds of dirty and disgusting looking like caked with hairspray because I use it all the time and I really love it. I feel like it just curls my hair so nicely. Um, the curls hold really well. It just works. Like that's why I like it. It just works. And the little pattern on it is extra cute. My favorite shampoo that's just holy grail, it always works for me, it's inexpensive, is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Enhancing Shampoo. This one says for darker blondes, but I've used the one for lighter blondes too. I don't think it really matters. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like it works. Um, cleans my hair really well, doesn't over dry it, but doesn't make it way down and heavy. I think that's what I like most about this is that it doesn't make my hair feel, some shampoos with fine hair, I feel like it almost coats my hair. You know, like some of them to make them make your hair thicker, coats it and then weighs it down, which is so interesting and like, a like that doesn't make any sense. I sort of get it because trying to plump up your hair, but in turn, it makes my hair way down. So this one, I just feel like washes my hair and doesn't give it that weird weighed down situation. You guys see this all the time in my empties videos. This is my favorite hairspray, the Garnier Fructi Style Volumizing Anti-Humidity Hairspray. I love this for multiple reasons. Number one, it's cheap and I go through a lot of hairspray. Um, but it works really well. It holds the style, but it doesn't make my hair feel crunchy and like it doesn't move at all. It still moves. It still has some movement, but it's holding the style and it smells really good. It smells fruity and it's just awesome. I think it does the job, smells nice, and it's just super cheap. And then for kind of a hair treatment and prep sort of a product, I love the Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. Um, this does a bunch of different things, moisture, shine, smoothness, blah, 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 light hole, heat protection. It just does a lot of good things for your hair. And I like it because it does those good things without weighing my hair down. That's always what I'm looking for with fine hair, where it's, you know, it's helping my hair, but it's not weighing it down. So many things weigh down fine hair. And this doesn't do that, surprisingly, because it's a pretty, like, creamy texture to it. But it just works without making my hair flat and gross looking. My favorite mousse is the Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. This I first got for the scent because it smells amazing, like cupcakes. But also, I really like how this mousse works. Like, it helps hold my style. I still have to use a hairspray. But it helps hold my style without making my hair feel sticky and disgusting and gross. A lot of mousse makes your hair feel gross and like just a, a weird sort of, gives it a weird texture. This doesn't do that. It's very creamy, um, but again, it doesn't weigh my hair down. So I just love this. This is awesome. And it's, it's inexpensive too. It's a drugstore brand. So around six to seven dollars, something around there. Y'all have heard me talk about this a lot on my channel. The Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. This is my favorite dry shampoo ever of life. It's a powder, which is really kind of interesting to get used to, but it just works so stinking well. It says it's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. That's what it does. I mean, it just, it gets the oil out of your hair, but it also just brings life back to it and then gives you a little bit of volume. 
I feel like it does kind of help extend your style because it's keeping that oil at bay and also giving you that volume. It's amazing. A little weird to get used to because it's a powder, but once you do, I think you'll love it. I really love it. And then for skincare, for my face wash, I have purchased this so many different times. This is holy grail for me. It just works. This is the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Foams up really nicely. It cleanses the skin so well without over drying it. It's just awesome. I mean, I've tried other different kinds of cleansers and while I like them, I think they work nicely. This is just always my favorite and I feel like it takes so little because it foams up so much. So it really does take a while to go through one of these tubes, but I use up a tube, I cut it open so I get every little last bit and then I go purchase another one. I mean, that really says a lot. If you just keep purchasing the same product over and over, you know you love it. And I do with this over and over and over. So I got this toner from Sephora and Gratis. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkled Turbo Line Smoothing Toning Lotion. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm excited to try it. But I found myself using it almost every single day and this was my go-to toner in 2015. I feel like it was just that extra step of cleansing anything that was left on my skin, any makeup or whatever. But also, I just love the way my skin felt after I used it. It just, and I'm still using it now. So it just, it doesn't make your skin feel super dry, but it doesn't make it feel super greasy. It just seems to level things out. You know what I mean? So that's what I really loved about it. It kind of has an inter interesting scent to it. Y'all may think I'm crazy, but it kind of smells like either bread or beer to me. <laughs> yeah, and at first I was like, oh, that's kind of a, an interesting scent, but I kind of like it now. So I don't know, it has kind of an interesting smell to it, but I think it works really well. And then as far as skin serums and treatments, these are my three standouts for the year. First is the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum. This is kind of like a do-it-all, all-in-one, no-brainer kind of a serum. That's why I love it. Because it was just like that go-to for me where if I didn't want a bunch of steps at night, I could just grab for this because it's supposed to have that smart technology that gives your skin what it needs. It's awesome. I love the Murad Complete Reform with Glyco Firming Complex. This is part of their age reform line. I feel like this just did such a good job at helping sort of the texture of my skin. And also this one too. This one is the GM Colin Age. AGE, or age, whichever, total defense, antioxidants, plus peptides. Both of these, I feel like, help the texture of my skin, which in turn kind of helps those beginnings of fine lines. You know what I mean? So you just want to smooth out the texture of your skin. That's always a goal, at least for me, that's a goal of mine. I want to smooth out the texture of my skin, helping prevent those fine lines, and I feel like these two do that really, really well. For body care, I would say these are my two standout products for the year. My favorite tanning lotion is the Tanwise Sunless Tanning Lotion. I get this from Sally's. It's around 10 or $12, so it's super inexpensive. It gives a really nice dark tan and it doesn't wear off funky. That's the main thing. Every time I've used tanners, they all wear off splotchy. Pretty much all of them. It's just the level of splotchiness that kind of changes through the different types. But this one really does not wear off patchy on me. So I love it so much. It's an awesome tanner. And then I cannot be without my Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Smooth On Perfect Legs in an Instant. This is actually leg makeup and I wear it in light. I wear it in light. I use the color light. I don't know. I have it in fair, but I like light better because light is more of a brown color Whereas Fair is a little bit more, slightly more orangey. So I just like this tone of this one better, that it's more on the brown side. But this just like perfects the way your legs look. So if your tan get a little, gets a little splotchy or if you have veins on your legs you want to kind of hide a little bit, this is awesome. I love it so much. It's water resistant. So I don't like, I can't remember if I've ever gotten in a pool with it on. I don't think so, but just like going out in a little sprinkling rain or something like that, or your legs get wet, you step in a puddle, I don't notice it like going everywhere, but it's awesome. It's a must have for me in the summer. So now onto tools. I love this lash curler from Sephora. Mine is really gross and dirty looking. 
I can't remember the name of this one, so I'll find it and list it for you below. I think this one is the Show Curl XL, I think. But it has just kind of a weird sort of extra curvy shape to it, but I feel like it just grabs the lashes, especially the middle of your lashes, and just really bumps them up and gives you that curl. It's amazing, I love it so much. At first when I got it, I got this in gratis too. First when I got it, I was like, I don't know about that, that's kind of a strange shaped curler. I thought it was gonna do something funky to my lashes, but no, it curls them and just does awesome things for them. I can't be without my MAC Fix Plus. This is my go-to mixing medium for pigments, glitters, all that type of deal. I'll occasionally use this for like a primer spray or a setting spray, but um, that's kind of more rare. I mostly use this for a mixing medium, but it works really well. Smells yummy. Smells like a MAC store, which I love. Um, this brush cleaner works so well. This is the It's Your Brush Love. This is from It Cosmetics. Instant Brush Cleaner. I use this pretty much every day for spot cleaning for some of my brushes, mainly for my brow brush because that's what I'm most consistent about cleaning every day. And this works really well. It just eats through the makeup without damaging your brushes. It's awesome. And then lastly, I'm gonna quickly run through my favorite brushes of 2015. First off, the Delium Tools 992. Love this for bronzer. It's just awesome on the neck. Works really well on the forehead too. You can bronze up your cheeks with it, but it's just really soft and I just love the shape of it. Like it just, it's a perfect bronzer brush and I love it. It's like stubby and cute. That's adorable and it just works. The e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. I use this little guy every single day to set my under eye concealer, but also my T-zone. I just love a little tulip shape to it. It's $3. It works so well. I don't know why I would need anything else. Like this just, it works. And I have that in my freelance kit as well. Um, the Sedona Lace 313, love this for highlighter. It's just kind of like a nice, sort of a tulip shape, but it's not quite as, I mean, it is tulip, but it's not as um, kind of angular as the e.l.f. one. But it's just so nice and it's fluffy enough where it blends the highlighter, but it's not too fluffy where it, gets it everywhere. It gets it where you want it, but not all over the place. The Sedona Lace 217 is one of my go-tos for concealer, and I like it because it's kind of like a bigger sort of concealer brush, so I feel like it just blurs out your concealer so well and kind of like diffuses that line, because sometimes when I use a smaller concealer brush, it just doesn't blur it out enough and it concentrates too much product, whereas this really just blurs out that concealer and makes it really seamless. It's so nice, love this one. For eye brushes, my Sedona Lace EB15 was a go-to for me for blending out um, my transition color and crease color. It's a really nice little tulip-shaped brush that's not too big, so it doesn't um, diffuse too much product because I have pretty small eyes and a small eyelid shape, so this just blends without blending too much. It's not too big, you know what I mean? The Delium Tools 781 is awesome for the outer corner because it's smaller, but it's not too small. It's not like a pencil brush um, where it concentrates too much product, but it's small enough that you can really get the eyeshadow where you want it in that outer corner Awesome, I love this little brush. The Sedona Lace EB21 was my go-to for lower lash line work because it's flat, it's skinny, it distributes the product, but then you can kind of like blend with it because it kind of moves a little bit more. It's just an awesome, tiny little brush. It just, it does such good work. And then this guy, I have totally worn the name off of this because I've used it so much. This is the Sigma Concealer F70. I use this for packing color onto my lid. This is great for pigments, this is great for glitter because it's just flat and dense and synthetic, so it's perfect for that kind of stuff. And then finally, the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. This is so tiny and adorable. Again, it's similar to that concealer brush, but it's kind of like a tinier version of it. So again, if you just wanna concentrate just the tiniest little bit of glitter or pigment on your inner corner, this will totally do the trick. It's 
little bitty. All right, guys, so that was a lot to talk about, but I just had so many things that I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and hearing all of my random sort of favorites for 2015. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know down below what your favorites would be for hair care, skin care, body care, brushes, tools, even fashion. I would love to know some of your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!